I don't know how she keeps doing it, but she broke open her bill again. That's not your blood, is it, Mumbles? Is it the khakis? I just don't know why this keeps happening. Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today I don't know what we're gonna get into, but I woke up, opened the barn, and my khakis bill is all beat up. It's a lot worse than it ever was before, and I just don't know why. But I think she's gonna need some more special treatment. I don't know what could possibly be doing this to this duck. She seems to be scabbing up every couple days. I get her healing up, and then it breaks open, and I have to start all over again. So I think the salve is working. I just have to try and find and eliminate what is causing it to break open again. What are you doing, Gina? I didn't spread that out for you yet. Gina. So I'm trying to keep an eye on the injured khaki and she hasn't even started foraging through the grass yet. I moved the bubbles so they have all fresh grass out here and she hasn't even started foraging. She's just kind of preening herself and trying to dry off from being soaking wet. Mumbles, why do you have blood on you? Why do you have blood on you, Mumbles? Hey, barn animals. Hey, birds. How you doing? I didn't see you, Mumbles. How's my khaki? My khaki is just looking bad. Why are you still wet? Hi, <laughs> goats. Hi guys, how are you two doing? You cute looking goats. Hey pop, I'm going inside. Hey birds. How you doing? I'm gonna get all the animals quieted down and then we'll get into what's going on today. Here chickens. Mumbles. I see you, bud. I see you. Got some for all your friends. Zeet. Zeet. Wife. Mumbles is afraid of you, bud. Here. Here Mumbles. Oh, khaki. Feels so bad. What's going on with you? She's a happy little active duck. I don't know what else. Why this is happening to her and no one else. I see you guys. I'm coming. The goats pushed their bull over, so I gotta come to this side to drop it in. There you go, guys. Well, welcome back to Wood Acres. I'm up here because not only I have to check on the animals because it's my afternoon checkup time, but also because Khaki Campbell keeps opening up the scabs on her bill. Draco is no longer an issue with the ducks. He went to camp yesterday and I thought I fixed everything else in the pen to where she didn't have anything to bang her bill against. But you can see even from a distance that her bill is rubbed raw again. This is the third time I think she's broke it open after I've gotten it to start to scab over. I've been doing an Epsom salt wash and then a chickweed salve rub every night to try and get it to scab over. And it seems to be working up until the point she breaks the scabs open again. When I came up here this morning to let all the animals out of the barn, I noticed that Mumbles had blood on her chest. And last time that I noticed this, the Khaki Campbell opened up her scabs. 
So I don't know if the khaki Campbell is rubbing her beak on Mumbles or if Mumbles is picking on the khaki to where she's getting blood on her. The khaki was also soaking wet. This, that was Bonnie. She was limping a little bit, but she's doing okay. Bonnie's actually going to get some attention today too after the khaki. The khaki just needs a little bit first, more first aid than she does. I also noticed this morning that the khaki Campbell with the hurt bill was soaking wet this morning. She, all the way through she was wet. And none of the other ducks, even Mumbles, were wet. So I don't know if she was forced to stay in the pool or she was sat on or something. Draco's not here to sit on her. I don't think the other female ducks were sitting on her. I haven't seen any of them do that. So I'm really just not understanding why she keeps reopening the scabs on her bill. Whenever I kept her in the middle stall with Blue alone at night and then let her outside with all the other ducks during the day, she seemed to never break open that scab. It's just been whenever I put her inside the pen with all the other birds and mumbles that she breaks her scabs back open. So I'm kind of leaning towards she's getting bullied. Run ducks, it's raining. You don't care. We are getting a pretty good rain coming down right now. Goats, go inside your shelter. Chickens, you all came inside. That's what I thought. I had a door stop made here. And I don't know if it got buried by the chickens, but it's supposed to hold my gate from blowing away in the wind. Chickens, what'd you do with that? There it is. So to get around to it, my plan is to separate out the khaki Campbell with the injured bill, as well as Blue and Pebbles, the black runner duck. They are the smallest of the whole flock, so I'm going to bring them out with the injured khaki just to give her company so she's not actually alone, and those ones shouldn't be picking on her. Come on, Spot. Get out of the rain. You're not a duck. Come on. Yeah, you're not a duck. Get inside, girl. I'm also going to switch up tactics here. I did bring up more Epsom salts, but that's actually for something else. And then I brought up a different cream. This cream is from a Holistic Acres out of Newcomerstown, Ohio. It's called B&W ointment. And it's what I use for all my burns on my hands or anything and any small scrapes and cuts. So I'm going to try this out and see if it works any better than the chickweed salve. And then I also brought up some apple cider vinegar with the mother to give her a clean out with this instead of the Epsom salts just to switch it up and just to try something different just to give her uh, a wide range of healing here. Chickens. Did Mumbles lay an egg in here? Don't you mess with one of Mumbles' eggs. Okay, thank you, chickens. I don't want you poking a hole in it, girls. We'll put that with the duck eggs for now until I take them all down at night. And we'll cover them up so the chickens don't peck them. So the rain stopped for now and all the ducks are out here preening themselves. So I'm going to grab the injured khaki duck, bring her in, give her an apple cider vinegar wash, and then I'm going to put the B&W salve on her, get her started on her healing treatment, and then tonight I'm going to do it again. in so I can grab her a lot easier now stay there Hold on duck oh you're coming out yeah stay there for a second Let's do this. Oh, wet. 
There's no training, but... <laughs> just doesn't look good. Can you see that? I hope you can't see it too well, because it is gruesome. This may sting a little bit, okay? Whoa, you went right in there. How'd that feel? You're not freaking out, so, okay. It is diluted pretty good, but I think it's enough to do what it needs to do. You can drink a little bit if you want to. Oh, oh, okay, good job. It's just it's hard to see because I have you in the shadow, but there's like a hole. She has an entire hole on the one side. You can see a little better now from this angle. For one, she is soaking wet all the way through, which just isn't, isn't, isn't right for a duck. And she is healing. Parts of her bill are healing that were rough before. And now this is like a completely new open wound on her. And this one is bad. It is a hole all the way through. She is missing a lot of bill. So I don't know what she's been doing or what they've been doing to her. But we're going to put her by herself for a little bit, try and get her to heal up. Or we're going to put her away from the big birds. There you go. That was a good dip. That was a good dip. That was a good dip. I feel you. I feel you. Easy. Easy. I don't want to hurt you. So I have some of the ointment out of the jar because I don't want to mix it in the jar and uh, I use that stuff on my open wounds so I don't want to be mixing that with the duck but you want to stir it into a lather and then apply it generously That's got to help her out, right? She kind of has like a flap on this side. I don't want to mess with it too much. So we'll check back in on her in the, uh, tonight whenever I put them to bed and separate them. And we'll see how it looks. Poor girl. Okay, go on. And now I brought up some Epsom salts too, and that is going to be for the Bonnie that is limping. I'm gonna give her an Epsom salt bath just to see if that's gonna help her out. It can't hurt, and I've seen it rejuvenate some chickens before that weren't feeling well, so. Swimming, huh? Settle in. 
gonna soak her for, I don't know, as long as I can get her to stay here. Hey, 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 hey. Chicken. Move. That's better. Move. Hey. Move. Don't you scare her. It's raining again. I'm just gonna soak her for a little bit as long as I can get her to stay in the water. Echo Pup's gonna watch out for hawks. Oh, it's okay, Bon Bon. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, that'll have to do. Unless you want to go again? No? Okay, I don't want to mess with her too much. So, uh, we'll see if that helps and maybe we'll do it again. I was warned that if the birds drink the Epsom salt water, it may give them diarrhea, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump it. I'm gonna be keeping the Khaki Campbell in this middle bay here, and there's too many things that she can bang her bill against, so I think I'm going to create a little medical bay right where this wheelbarrow is. I think I can make a little half pallet wall, maybe just stand that up on end, and then frame out the rest of this about the size of that wall right there and give it a little bay to keep out probably the two runner ducks and the khaki Campbell in here just to try and keep her in one spot and get her to heal up instead of having so many other things for her to bang her bill on. I should have everything I need to make this little project happen. Just gonna need a little help from you, pup. You ready to work? Yeah, I thought so. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Oh, I wanted to get 
I think that's gonna make a really nice ICU for my duck. I'm gonna keep it simple for the door right now and just use this old mud flap and a bucket of water. What do you think, pup? That work? I think I'm all finished up here with the duck ICU. I used a pallet and a half. I cut one pallet in half and I already had a half a pallet. I put one here, one on the other side, and then closed it off with the front. I capped it off with an old fence board that I had lying around. And then I used some 45s from old uh, 2x4 scrap pieces. Cut some 45s on them and placed them in the corners just to strengthen up the whole structure. I placed it against the back of this horse stall, so it's all ready to go. I used some old sheeting that came off of some wire racks just to smooth out all the edges. I didn't want her trying to put her head through the boards here and getting hurt. So it's pretty much, uh, well, what do you think, pup? Pretty much one of those uh, cushion rooms for insane people right now. It's not padded, but it should be a pretty safe room for her to go in at night and not hurt herself so she can start healing on her beak. Bill. I added another piece of scrap fence board here, just going across on an angle, just so I could add this sheet here, so I could still store and use my hay right there, and it will add some coverage for her to go underneath at night and feel even safer. So I think I'm actually going to put her in there by herself for the night, just so there's less variables of her hurting her bill further. I also just got back from the local mill and picked up some more chicken feed, but I also found out that they carry duck and goose feed, so we're back on the duck and goose feed. I didn't start my day thinking I was going to be building a duck ICU up here in the barn, but that's what it ended up being. I think that's the best bet for this duck to try and get her healed up is to just keep her away from the other ones and limit the things that she can bust her bill on. I enjoy figuring out solutions to problems here on the homestead. I don't enjoy having all my animals die. And I've been looking at the different hatcheries and seeing what they have available right now. And I've looked at some of them to where I add it to the cart and then the chick disappears before I even get to check out. So I don't know how far yet behind I'm going to be with the chicks and the rooster. Because I want to get certain breeds. It's my agar flock that's going to be around for a few years. And I don't want to just have any old flock from Tractor Supply. So I have to wait until certain breeds are available. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a Buckeye rooster again. That whole plan is just gone. Like that whole flock arrangement that I had originally planned. It's that I have to change it and go with something else now. So... I won't be having a Buckeye rooster, so Buckeye will just be remembered as a little chick. So I'll let you know what ends up happening, but right now I don't have anything ordered or found anything available yet. So this is where we are on the saga of trying to save the khaki's bill. We are building tiny ICUs in the barn right now. That's going to be all for this one. Thanks for following along. You can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, we got her inside the little ICU pen here, and I got her all salved up. We got her cleaned up with apple cider vinegar, and I got the B&W salve put on her bill. And I'm putting her in the pen here with no food or water for tonight. That's going to help her keep that salve on for as long as possible without washing it off. So I don't want to give her any food without water, and I don't want to give her any water. She'll be okay for tonight, and uh, we'll check on her in the morning.